just what are your impressions from this last game uh, as you get ready for, you know, arguably the, the big <laughs> platform in terms of uh, exposure that your team's going to get this week? Yeah, I, I, this team, I, l I really enjoy this team. I enjoy the, their work ethic. I enjoy their, their heart. I and mean, you know what? And I love the, this team. You know, as much as a coach can say, "Hey, that's not our best performance." We, are, their players already know that. They're already this is their feeling. They know they can do better. They know that they can. They have more in the tank. Um, the leadership is sound. Uh, there's a lot of things uh, across the board that are really gr are, are are great in all three phases. Now, now, you know, also, let's not take for granted that you know the other opponent. There's human beings in there who love the game of football, who work just as hard all uh, off season long, and when they put their pads on, they want to have put out their best effort. So I don't care who you're playing, the you got to understand that your best is is always needed. Greatness uh, has got to come out, and greatness is 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 not this unattainable thing. It's this thing of a saying, hey, were you paying attention? for the whole game and giving your best effort and was your technique did it prove to be so sound because you practiced so well that's the part we're trying to get to you don't just turn it on like a, a lot of some you know there, there's a common vibe hey just game day let me the lights go on i turn it on you know we want to see it turned on all week long say because you got to stand that's how you become that um, that high performing player because the way how you practice so I like our team. I like our effort. I like our energy. I thought the sideline was is, is so much better. How our guys, the energy there, even though we had some some um, some challenging moments happen, uh, the team never lose faith and they keep battling. And they're like, hey, we're let's go for it. And that's the big thing. And I, I heard a little bit uh, in that comment just to, in terms of greatness versus perfection, and that there, there's elements of perfection and greatness, but yeah. even with greatness, there's never perfection. Uh, yeah, and, and what I wanted to, to talk about, especially focusing on, is the defense. You know, with with the four turnovers to start the game, to just to be down seven nothing, to be able to take a twenty one seven halftime. Lead. Yeah, you know, how how big was that for for your team to to battle through that uh, adversity and show what they're capable of? Yeah, that, that's the part I think I, I really enjoyed about this whole group is that you know, despite the adversity of the first quarter, our guys keep playing, keep putting together drives, keep putting together stops, uh, keep playing the game, and I think that's where. Uh, we're, we're trying not to let ourselves get emotionally hijacked from bad things. You know, for us, is hey, just keep playing the game. And there's a lot of football to be played. Uh, and it, it, you know, in in that whole perspective of I'm not looking necessarily for perfection. I don't think you ever play a perfect game because you understand you're playing against an opponent that's going to create a variety of environments that they they they're going to challenge you all the time. So we're looking for a greatness in that. Uh, we can consistently perform our techniques uh, despite the, the circumstances, despite the environment, and we can, can perform them um, to where we, we measure and say, hey, that's a solid performance of your technique. And then uh, when something does break down, the greatness factor comes out was that our kids bounce back right away from it. And, and so that's, uh, I know that the, the, for our goals and what we want to accomplish, you're going to play against great football teams. And, and, and our opponent last week is a historically proud program who they are playing their eyeballs out right now. And their coaching staff is doing a very good job of keeping it together and leading them. So uh, you, know, you can't sleep on them. And um, for ours, as we keep growing and we try to chase this, this, this greatness factor, um, as we're looking at it, it's, it's, it's got to carry over in how we practice, how we approach our Mondays, how we approach these Tuesdays. And so uh, we're going to or the attitude is there to grow in it. That's why I'm really fired up about going to work today. The kids are amazing. I love the, this team, and um, and the coaches are fired up to get back to work with them. And then the, you we're going to turn around next week, and we'll have seen yeah. everybody in the league. You'll already be halfway through conference play. Yeah. And the season goes really fast, and you've seen a lot of the teams. I think last week also speaks to the the depth of the conference. I mean, you look mm -hmm. at the, the three yeah. teams you played so far. Um, you know, great first half from Simon Fraser. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Western Oregon had a lead going into the fourth quarter, and then Humboldt State, again, just a, a, a great performance, like, mm -hmm. like you talked about with, with all the effort that they had. What, um, you know, and now you see the last of them this week, what, what are your impressions of the league so far? The, the, this is, once again, a very competitive year, and you see, and this, I, let me tell you why our league is so competitive, it's because you're looking at the West Coast, the Western region, okay, the West Coast of everything having, so you have California with all the millions of people we have in the state of California, and you have, you know, Oregon, Washington, even Arizona, and then you go in Canada, and so the pool of talent 
is so much bigger than uh, other Division II school programs that they're fighting with. And so the amount of schools that are in this pool of talent, are it's, it's pretty limited for opportunities to play scholarship football. Uh, so this is where every GNAC team has got a, a, a great pool, of, uh, a great roster, a great depth in the roster, and a lot of talented people on our roster. So uh, this is what makes it week in and week out so competitive when we start beating each other up. And it's such a physical uh, week uh, when you, when, every time you play a GNAC opponent. So this is something I think it gets, it gets lost in translation when the rest of the country looks at our, at our league. Um, but this is why we know having go, you're living through it all the time is that anytime you play a GNAC opponent, there are game breakers on there. There are big playmakers on the other, other team. And, and there's also really good coaches because, you know, finding a job in college football, a full-time coaching job on the West Coast or Western region is extremely hard. Uh, and there's, cause there's such limited opportunity. So you have a lot of my, my buddies and stuff in college football, they're all in the Midwest, back East. And it's like, man, how do I get back to the West? And it's just really difficult. So that's why the coaching is such a high level. Uh, the, the talent pool is at a high level. And um, frankly, we beat each other up uh, every year. And so uh, that can get lost in translation. Coach, you talked about you know coming off a week against a historically proud program, and you're going to face another one here this week and yeah. another your opponent. Uh, what are you uh, looking to uh, from Central Washington, and what are some of the challenges that they present? Well, you know they're going to give their best effort, and our games are always competitive. You know that they're a very good football team. You know that they're they're you know Ian, Ian is a is a really good head coach, and he's proven that. And so um, you're looking at a team trying to bounce back from a West Texas A&M loss. Um, that was an emotional game. Uh, so. Uh, the thing is, defensively, they fly around. They're, they, they're, they'll blitz you from every single angle. They're an aggressive defense. Uh, and then you know, offensively, uh, they're going to present you with a, multiple formations. They have the, the, you know, the offensive player of the league come out as a quarterback or with Riley. And you're looking at uh, they're able to run the ball well. They're, and then their passing game is, is very efficient where they're at where they're doing the ball. And uh, what I saw from this last week, too, is their screen game is really picked up. I mean, they're hitting some huge plays with the screen game. So out of all that, you know, offensively, it's, it's, it's tension across the board that they're creating for you. And then with their defense, they're at any, any, uh, any angle they can come at you. And then you're looking at just what they have done historically over their special teams is, is they have athletes. They, 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 when you have that depth of roster with athletes, your special teams uh, gets to play well. And so you know, you're looking at uh, a great game. It's on ESPN. And so I know this is it's going to be uh, it's going to be a heck of a dogfight. And so we're excited for that. And then uh, part, of, part of the festivities for mm -hmm. a specific perspective is this is the, the 20 year anniversary yeah. of the national championship from the 98 team. Many of those players are going to be coming back. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think part of the reason they chose this game yeah. was because Central Washington was such a significant part of that 98 yeah. season. They played them in the regular season, played them again in the playoffs, mm -hmm. so they got to play them twice. Um, and just a, such a special year. What? Um, what do you what do you know about that team, and what what do you what message do you have for that group of players that's coming? Yeah, to be part of this? having been uh, the head coach here for a while, been associated with the program, that '98 team is really special to all of us. And that '98 team did something that uh, uh, we're still but we're still standing on what the foundation they laid right there because it was it was the hey we're not asking permission to be great type of attitude. It was the take the land type of attitude. It was a bunch of guys coming together saying hey if we all give to each other even more, that some great things can come out of it. So to celebrate them 20 years later, number one, it makes you realize how fast time goes, uh, and two, it just a, it, it's just a it's a great reminder of the possibilities that are out there and, and what we want to achieve as a program and the standard that was set there. And so uh, our players know very well about it, and, and our players are, are proud to wear the uniform and and bear the brand that they've that they did for us on a national stage. And we want to continue to push that out there. So the chance to celebrate these guys and to say thank you again and recognize the 20-year 20, 20 anniversary, um, it's pretty special. And as, as a head football coach, I'm very proud that uh, we get to share that night with them on Saturday. Great. Coach, with this game coming up, it'll be on the ESPN network, as you know. Um, what are the opportunities that that brings your program, the team, and yeah. you guys? Well, it's, it's kind of what you want for your program all the time to be in the national uh, conversation and uh, you know what obviously ESPN bringing it coming to town 
uh, we're going to not only be in the conversation we're always here in the West, but now all the way to the East Coast, wherever they're being played across worldwide, uh, they are the worldwide leader of sports apparently. So <laughs> that you get to make sure that your uh, your brand is getting out there. Recruiting wise, it's a chance for our recruits to be able to see a stage that they all want to be a part of. Where you know you're in Southern California playing college football at a high level and nationally recognized, and so. Uh, we're going to have a lot of recruits there, and it's it's just a chance to, for us to really enjoy the night. And everything that we talk about with our college football program, uh, Saturday night is really an opportunity to, to really enjoy that. Okay, thank you. Very All much. right, thank you very much.